What's up guys, Evac Mods here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to change your text font on your PS3 to a custom font. Um, obviously you're going to need a jailbreaking PS3 to do this. So, uh, As you can see here, um, I've done this before on the original and rounded font. And you can see that my pop font is default. So uh, today I'll be showing you how to change the pop font. Um, so what you're going to do is, you're going to go over to thefont.com and choose a font that you like. Uh, there are two things you want to look out for. You want to see if the font has a .ttf file. So if it does, um, that's a font that you want to use. Um, unlike this font, this font doesn't have a .ttf file, so you can't use that font. And the other thing to look at, look out for is to see if the font supports other characters. So this font obviously doesn't barely supports any of the characters, so you can't use a font like that. But over to this font, um, it supports all the all the characters except for two. So if that font is, um, if this font doesn't support like a few characters, then it won't really matter. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna download that, and then you're gonna open the file. So what you're gonna do is drag the first file to a folder or your desk desktop. So it doesn't really matter how you do it and then you want to copy and paste the file and then uh, you're going to rename it so as you can see here I've made a little note um, of the different names for the different fonts so um, I'm going to be using this name today since I'm changing the pop font if you want to change the uh, original or rounded font all you do is just copy that name and um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. So you're just going to paste that name in, and then you want to change the .ttf to a uppercase TTF. So you want to change it from lowercase to uppercase. And then you're going to do the same with the copied file, and then you want to add a two at the end, and then uppercase TTF. So once you've done that, you're going to go to your PS3 and go over to uh, Reebok Toolbox. Um, it doesn't matter what firmware you're on, Reebok Toolbox uh, um, works with all firmwares, it's just um, some of the features on Reebok Toolbox won't work if you're not on a Reebok firmware. Um, it will come up with a message saying that like some of the features won't work, so as you can see here, it will come up with this message. If you're not on a Reebok firmware, it doesn't really matter, so you just press OK. And you're going to open up FileZilla and then um, connect to your PS3's IP. If you don't know your PS3's IP, just go to System Information and it will tell you there. So you're going to connect to your PS3's IP. And then you go to dev underscore rebug data and then font. And then you're going to want to drag your two files. So you're going to drag the first one down into FileZilla and it will come up with a message saying if you want to overwrite the original file you just press OK. The same with the second file, so you just press OK and then you quit out of Rebug Toolbox. So you're going to go over to your theme settings and as you can see here um, your pop font has changed to the font that you have chosen. Um, this font does show up online. So. so as you can see here, the font does show up online. Um, for those who will notice when going onto a game, so when you go onto a game and you press the PS button, um, to read a message or to send a message or whatever, you will really realize that your font has changed back to the original font. So if you've chosen the pop or rounded font and you're in a game and you press the PS button, um, you, the font will change to the original font. I don't know why it does that. So if you want your font to stick when in game, um, obviously you just want to change your original font, not your pop or rounded. So uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, that's basically it, so uh, if this tutorial helped you guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I will be uh, bringing more tutorials later on in the future, so um, 
make sure to look out for that and I will see you guys later.